Hello. Hello everyone and hello teacher. Thank you. Hello. Okay, before we start, can you tell me what's your name? My name is Bito Wan. Ah, I see. How old are you? I'm 11 now. 11, I see. Can you tell me what is your family name? Uh, my family uh, live in uh, Taiwan City. Mm -hmm, I see. Okay, so now here, um, Peter, we've got two pictures. My picture is nearly the same as your picture, but some things are different. For example, in my picture, you mustn't climb the trees, but you must put the litter in the bin. How about in your picture? In my picture, you, uh, she mustn't pick the flower, but yeah, you must play in the park. Okay, good. Well done. Now here, in my picture, 200 years ago, there was a horse bus. There were a lot of shops, but there weren't any planes. How about in your picture? In my picture, there are 15 years ago. Uh, in my picture, there are a car and a tube and motorbike. Okay, good. Well done. Now here. In my picture, when Grandpa was young, he got blonde hair and he was cheerful. But now he is miserable and he has short white hair. How about in your picture? In my picture, uh, when Grandma young, she is cute uh, and cheerful and generous. And when she old, she was Cheerful and miserable. Okay, very good. Now, next one here. So, we've got Jack and Emily. I don't know anything about Emily, but you do, so I'll ask you some questions. Can you tell me what must Emily do in the library? She must be quiet. How does she look like in the past? She has short hair and miserable. Mm -hmm. And how does she look like now? She has long hair and cheerful. Good. And how did the town look like in the past? Uh, he no car and only bus. Okay, good. Well done. Now it's your turn. You don't know anything about Jack, but I do. So you will ask me some questions. What does uh, Jack must do in library? He must return the books on the shelves. What does he look like in bus? He got blonde hair and he was cheerful. What does he look like now? Mm -hmm. He has gray hair now and he is miserable. What, what does he like tell of past? Mm -hmm. There were no planes, only horse buses. Okay, good. Now here, this is the story about the gingerbread man. Using the six um, pictures, Peter, can you retell the story? Uh, the grandma make a uh, one uh, Virginia Brahman and she cook them. And uh, Virginia Brahman can uh, stand and run. The old woman want to eat him and he ran away. Uh, the, uh, the fox is um, he was running the fox is see him. He was uh, say go stand on my back and you know Brahma stand on fox back and you know, and, and fox is say uh, sit on my nose and you know, Brahma uh, and you know, Brahma was eat by fox. Fox. Okay, good. Do you know what is the moral lesson of the story? Uh, we must. We must. Um, Do you think the wolf is a good guy or a bad guy? A bad guy. A bad guy. Good. We mustn't trust the bad guy. Okay, good. So now, um, I would like to ask you more questions about your city. Can you tell me what is your favorite place in your city? Uh, my favorite city in city is restaurant. Mm -hmm, I see. What are the things that you must and mustn't do in the restaurant? Uh, I 
Amazon uh, eat too much <laughs> and I must uh, walk in restaurant. Mm -hmm, I see. Can you describe your grandma and grandpa in the past? My grandma is look like uh, beautiful and cute. Mm -hmm. And now she is old and cheerful and generous. Mm -hmm, I see. How about your grandpa? I don't have grandpa. Mm, I see. Okay. Well done. Thank you so much. That's the end of your speaking test, Peter. Now you can say goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye. Okay.